Yo, what's up? It's your boy BBC, Big Baron Carter, and I love BBC. But, um, <laughs> didn't mean to say it like that. Yo, I love BBC, I'm um, Big Baron Carter. But um, I'm gonna have to disagree with him here. Um, making money young means that you, you know, set yourself up for the future later on in life. And I think that he is correct of, about being young and enjoying life, but, um, you know, life hits you quick. Before you know it, you're kind of 18. This dumbass right here. And before you know it, you kind of have to just move forward and work hard towards the right things. Like, you shouldn't try to make a lot of money in high school. You should make a lot of money in high school. And a lot of people in the comments take the cop and they really like praise Brandon Carter for saying this. Oh, yeah, just be a kid, just be this, be that. But like, if you're, I think if you're a genuine entrepreneur, um, an entrepreneur and you have the entrepreneurial mindset making a business starting a business young and trying to make money young is probably one of the best ways to go about life of course you can have a lot of stress and trauma and um a lot of pressure on you young but that's gonna be your entire life anyway so you might as well just get over and done with now so later on in life you have the necessary experience in order to partake it you know school isn't a waste i agree with a lot of people here. it's just what you choose to do then a lot of people don't know what they're doing and they just fuck around there people a lot of people just don't want to make a lot of money and they understand the, the truth of the world that if you just make enough money you'll be, you're gonna be fine like, who cares everyone here says 88 percent of millionaires have degrees what about the other 12 percent that don't have degrees like, come on the reality is that if you do become a millionaire it's usually in part because of your education your connections and your work ethic like if your education isn't purely within the education system, also with the, within the education of self-education, self-help, self-betterment, books, courses, you know, self-learning, self-teaching, that type of thing. And um, yeah, what the hell? My thing just crashed, bro. Ain't no way. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, not drink coffee, bro. You know, 80% of millionaires have degrees, but we have to ask ourselves another question. Do those millionaires, how many, how much of a percentage of those millionaires have degrees that relate to their career, which then turns them into a millionaire? That's a good question to ask. And more than that, it's we're asking the question of... That should be better quality. We're asking the question of, hey... Did those millionaires become millionaires simply through the education system or within the sub-education as well, you know? People f f often undermine the value of sub-education because, you know, it's everywhere and it's free and et cetera, et cetera. But free learning is, is one of the best ways to learn. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of weird to think about because a lot of intelligent people, they have a lot of the information and the knowledge from themselves, almost. They kind of just spawn in with it. When, when that's usually not the case, it's usually that they spend a lot of time on the internet, they spend a lot of time researching, studying on their own, and then they come to conclusions, and they, they come to whatever they come to, whatever information, whatever intelligence, smartness that is, fucking, how do I say this, perceive other people, they come to that, after a god, ungod, ungodly sum of research and self-development that we don't really see. You know, okay, let's say you do, let's say you do become a, a millionaire and you do get a degree. What about the, the other people that have a degree and haven't become a millionaire? The, the way you do become a millionaire is not necessarily through a degree, although like it would help, I guess, if you're, if you're um, having a degree that relates to your career. But the majority of people that do end up becoming a millionaire is usually because they have provide. Let me reiterate myself. The majority of people that do become millionaires. They become millionaires because they provide millions of dollars worth of value to a society that repays them back within millions. That's how they become millionaires. They provide value. And the value could be within anything. They could sell products, they could sell service, they could have a company that upscales, sells product service, they can have a, um, a surrogate company that arbitrages a product or a service like Uber, which arbitrages a service called drive you to places. You know, 
that's how people become millionaires. They provide value and in return, they, well, they provide value or they retain control over some sort of particular entity which allows them to reap the benefits of. Like, for example, Uber doesn't own the cars that they sell. This, I'm trying to, I'm trying to re really put this into layman's terms so everyone understands. Uber doesn't own the cars and they sell the part of the service of thing. And the main product is the service that they sell of you driving you and getting you to places. Uber is just like a third party application software that not only controls but takes the majority revenue split of um, the people that drive around. They don't own the cars, but you know, motherfuckers, they make a lot of money off of it. Uber's a good example of that. It's a good example of, um, you could say, you could say, um, an arbitrage company, a, what do you call it, a, a contractor arbitrage company, sort of, because, um, people that, people that are Uber drivers are fact, friendly, um, contractors, not necessarily taxi drivers. Yeah, anyways, that's irrelevant to what I'm saying, it's just that, yeah, you should try to make a lot of money when you're young, you should try to make a lot of money as soon as possible, becoming an independent, becoming an independent young man or independent young woman, I don't know about young woman, I'm not a woman, so, but, <laughs> because this channel is directly that young men, but you women take value from my future videos that they have before. I don't mind. If you are um, a up and coming young man, you are extremely focused, extremely hardworking. You know what you want. You want a lot of money. You have to figure out ways to get that money. Obviously, I mean, it'll be uh, better for you in the long term as like things to just get early as possible. Uh, MJ DeMarco says the best. If you're incredibly ambitious and hardworking at 18. There's a very high possibility to be filthy rich, filthy rich by 25, by 23, 24. Filthy! Multi millionaire status, do whatever the fuck you want, private jets, etc., etc. That type of lifestyle. Because then you'll be having a roughly around seven years to work on your entrepreneurial endeavors. It's almost a decade to work on entrepreneurial endeavors. That's not, that's not fucking overnight success, is it? It's more so like, it's like a compound over a long period of time. That's why I would always recommend working hard and working hard as early as possible, becoming an adult as soon as possible, because then it shapes you and a thing molds you as a person much more. You know these individuals that I see online and I see around around town that have this kind of childlike mindset into their twenties. What do they do with their t life? What do they do with their time? They play video games. They do. Or they go on social media. They watch porn. They fucking do the, all the instant gratification bullshit activities, and as a result, their life life never really progresses. You know, you will only grow if you do hard things. And people, I don't think people understand this. And then people want to hear things like Big Bang Carter, multi multi millionaires tell you, oh, it's okay, be young, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, you're going you're gonna to regret it one day. Whatever, blah, 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 blah. And then these people are like circle jerking, you know, sucking their own penis, doing absolutely fucking nothing, and they end up being absolute losers. Like, well, why do women don't like me? Women need to change. Oh, they have value, man. I'm 80% of women did. And 20% of men. Uh, uh, like, duh, of course, of course they do. I mean, I mean, fucking look at you, bro. You're fucking hideous. You're broke. You're hideous. You have nothing of value. Like, of course, girls are not gonna like you. I always say that all the time. Of course, girls are not gonna like you. <laughs> Especially, I'm a couple young men. And I, and I say, and I think that, I think this message, like, it's it's a good message. <laughs> not things to take things too seriously, but there is so much beauty and like value within just being a hardworking individual and like having results. Early. And I think about Iman Gaji, of course, like he's a top 1.0001.0001% 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, man. But like even then, still look at his life, look at his choices so far, look at the way he's operating through life. You know, there's a lot of friends he had probably that are like fucking still playing video games. You know, maybe some of the girls are like fucking childish as fuck, doing OnlyFans, some stupid shit like that. But he's like a legitimate multi multi millionaire with doing a legitimate um, service based business. Like, and he's been able to. The fact that we retire his his mother, his single mother, and he's li he's living this glorious life of opulence and luxury and, and beauty, and I think, I think he deserves it in in, in entirety. And like, to extrapolate on that, he's an example of an incredibly hard working young man who desired to become rich young, who dropped out of high school effectively in order to become rich, in order to chase his dream. I think it's wonderful. Why would you not want to do that? Of course, he's on a lot of stress. Of course, he's working all the time. Of course, he's fucking he's busy all the time. Yeah, but you're gonna be busy later on anyway in life. Any anyway, by the time you're 29, you're 30, and whilst everyone else is beginning their grind phase, you're already done. Like you're already finished up. You just now you just um, thing. You can work. You keep working, sure, or you can just stop and relax and retire early, like MJ DeMarco. 
33 years old, he's already retired. He's been retired for the last 18 years or some shit. By the time he, that's all he said by the time, uh, the time of the book, and unscripted. He's like 50 something now, he's been retired for like uh, two to three decades. <laughs> Isn't that crazy to think about? You just be retired when you're 30. So much time you, you can have still for like, to see your kids grow up. To, your, to your, see your children grow up. To pursue the hobbies that you really want to pursue. I don't agree with this message. I really like Brick Brian Carter. I really like BBC. Pause. But I do not agree with this message. This message is highly, highly toxic. And yeah, I'm not saying fucking work yourself to the ground, bro. I'm not saying work, work, work in segments in which you can be the most productive. Sure. I, but I would consider sleep productive as well. And people, people would like, people always, when I say like, get a uh, thing, get money in a life worth living, people always look at the get money part. They don't see, see that a life worth living part. Because people only see things at a surface level because people are fucking stupid. I'm not saying work yourself to the ground. That's not sustainable for a thing. Or incredible, incredibly productive work, is it? No, it's not. But I am saying work hard. That's weird. That's one video. I don't know if my PC's still lagging. I'm currently editing another video while I'm thinking of doing this video. And I'm also incredibly busy. Um, busy, busy, busy. Always busy. I'm not gonna read some comments. So it's like a dumb. But I look weird flipped. I don't know, I just look weird flipped. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how I flipped. Oh, I can flip it back. I don't care. You gotta make a lot of money if you're in high school. Be a f***ing kid. You got your whole life to make money. You're gonna have to worry about that forever. This is the only time in your life you actually don't have to worry about it. What you need to worry about is getting good grades in school. If you can get all A's in high school. I did it. High school's f***ing easy. You can't beat high school, you're probably not gonna build a multi-million dollar business. 80% of businesses fail and only 5% of businesses ever reach million dollar per year mark. Get all A's in high school. Easy. It's a joke. Especially compared to real life. Get an academic scholarship to the best school you can go to. A lot of people on the internet will tell you that college is a scam. I suspect they're telling you that because they want you to buy their course. I, I had an amazing time in college. I made a bunch of great connections, lifelong yeah, friends. Just statistically, people who go to college make a lot more money. If you can't master school then the business world is going to eat you alive you just going to sure. know it you're going to figure that shit out without education get real stop trying to make a lot of money like if you're in high school be a f i don't give to be the fucking kid thing I am the only one to disagree with him here. Respectfully, of course. Guys, listen here to me. I really like Brady Brandon Carter. I said it in the beginning of the video, but like... I look weird from this angle, bro. Let me it back. Okay, now I look weird from this angle, too. What the fuck? Let me it back. Ah! the camera. One side of my face is more fat. This side of my face is more fat, bro. This side of my face is less fat. It could be lying as well. Why is this? This is worrying. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. Okay. Um. I'm just, I'm just in this video. Stop trying to make a lot of money in high school. Let's catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Slim video. Could die video. Can I fucking full screen this, please? Oh, boom. Okay. Cover this. Cover this. Boom. Live video. Could die video. Catch you guys in the next video, please. I'm looking at the stop recording button. Please, please let me go. Please, please. Let me go.